Hey guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. It's Sunday and we're home, just me and Ricky. We're not having family night tonight. Both of my kids wanted to stay home and just have a lazy Sunday with their significant others. And I'm like, okay, I get it. So we are just at the house ourselves, me and Ricky and the puppy dogs, having a very nice afternoon. And I am going to make our keto taco soup. Guys, you love taco soup. Like I love this keto taco soup. So guys, if you haven't tried it before, you're in for a treat, and if it sounds good, go ahead and give me some hearts and share this video. Let me show you what I've done so far. This is so fast and easy, guys. You just put your um, get your stock pot out, and we're going to cook this, let it simmer. I mean, it just takes a couple of hours for it to simmer. I love to simmer my soups. And then it's ready to eat. What, babe? And then just ready. What'd you say? Oh, the internet had a glitch. Ricky said, hey, Karen. All right, guys. So what I've done right now is I took my stock pot and I've got one pound of ground beef that I have cooked up and I just drained the grease out and we have one uh, bell pepper. I'm using a green bell pepper and I used about a half of a white onion and I just chopped that up pretty good. That's all we've done so far. And now we're gonna get all the ingredients together so you guys can see how easy it is. If you love taco soup, you're gonna love this. Now my husband, as much as I love him and as much as he loves me, he tells me that I should not call this taco soup because a traditional taco soup has black beans and kidney beans and chili beans and corn and ranch and all those things. But this is a keto version of taco soup that is seriously delicious. I love it. So you can also put more vegetables in it if you want to, but guys, I keep it super simple. So the recipe is in this post and then it will be in the recipe blog later. So you can use one or two pounds of ground beef. I'm making a small pot for myself. So it's just one pound of ground beef in this one. Oh yes, it's a perfect day for soup, Wendy, because it's freezing outside. I walked out this morning, I'm like, what the world? I had to get a coat on, a sweatshirt on, jeans, long socks. I'm like, what in the world happened to the 70 degrees? I don't know. All right, so we've got a pound of ground beef, peppers and onions. We drained that. Now we're going to add some garlic. Now you can leave this out if you want to. Y'all know my spill on garlic. I love garlic. You don't have to love garlic like I do, but garlic makes everything taste delicious. So we're gonna use a whole pouch of our minced garlic. If you wanna use garlic powder, you can. If you wanna leave it out altogether, completely up to you. We're just gonna throw that right inside this meat mix that's got the bell pepper and about a half of a small onion. You can use as much vegetables as you want. If you wanna use more, go for it. There's no rules against how many um, vegetables you put in this. You can also use zucchini. I know, I have it, but you can use zucchini chopped up in there. I don't think I would like that in a taco soup, but I've heard people do it before. All right, so we're just adding the garlic now, and we're gonna let this cook just a couple more minutes with the garlic. Yes, I know, it's quite a bit. I love garlic. <laughs> and then we're gonna add salsa. Now, you wanna make sure that when you get your salsa that you read the ingredients, guys. Everything in a jar or in a box has ingredients, and sometimes it's got sugar in it. We don't want salsa with sugar. We want this to be a really nice soup that we can enjoy and not feel guilty about at all. So if you get a salsa that's got a little bit of sugar, just look at the nutritional values. Let me wash my hands real quick. I got a lot of garlic on me. Just look at the nutritional value. It may have sugar in the ingredient list, but if it has zero carbs, it's got so little sugar that it can't even count as a carb. This one is an organic, and I just got it because it was a good carb count. It's just a mild salsa. It's got two carbs and two tablespoons. So two carbs and two tablespoons. It's not the best, but it is what it is. And we're going to do a half a cup of salsa. First, I'm going to stir this up and make sure this garlic is getting mixed in there. I turned the heat off for some reason. I want to get this garlic cooking real fast before I add any ingredients. <clears throat> So I've got one pound of ground beef, you can use two. Uh, I diced up about a half of a, a medium or small white onion, and I chopped up a green bell pepper. I like the green bell pepper in my taco soup. So we just added some garlic, and we're gonna let that uh, cook just a couple of seconds. And then we're gonna add just a few ingredients, guys. We've got 24 ounces of beef broth. So 24 ounces of beef broth. We're gonna do a half a cup of low carb salsa. <clears throat> We've got a whole big can of diced tomatoes. So this is where your carb counts really come into this, this dish. And this makes about 10 one cup servings. So 10 one cup servings, you can have it on these cold days. You can have it left over. You can actually make some keto grilled cheese to go with it. Yum. Uh, but you can have this for the entire week lunch. And it makes about 10 one cup servings and it's about five net carbs per serving when you're using my ingredients. 
So I'm not sure what salsa you'll use. I'm not sure what kind of uh, tomatoes you'll pick out. Oh, Kathy says she made the sausage gravy and, and biscuit shovels. Oh, I'm so glad that you loved it. I love it too. We love that sausage gravy over any kind of shoffle biscuit or even the drop biscuits like I love them. All right, that garlic is smelling good, so let's go ahead and add our next ingredients. We're going to do a half a cup of salsa. Yep, half a cup. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. We're going to do a whole can of diced tomatoes. I'm doing a big can of diced tomatoes, so about 24 ounces. You can do more or less if you want to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add some taco seasoning. Now guys, I'm using the Flavor Gods taco seasoning because you know I love it. You can use whatever taco mix you want to. There are a lot of taco meat or taco seasonings. You can Google yourself that have no sugar. Um, and let's see, we're gonna put this beef broth in, but first let me go ahead and take a picture of this because you guys know I'm trying to create some recipe reels so we can keep these uh, available to look out every once in a while. Oh yes, now we're gonna add that beef broth. So I'm doing about 24 ounces of beef broth. So we've got the ground beef, we've got the pepper and the onion. We cooked that together and then we drained the grease. We added some minced garlic. We added 24 ounces of beef broth. We, out, we added a whole big can, 32, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, a half a cup of salsa, low carb salsa, we just added in some taco seasoning. We're going to taste it to see if it needs some more. We're not done yet, though. We're almost done. I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer. Uh, get this hot and get it simmering again. And what we're going to add next is four ounces of softened cream cheese. Four ounces of softened cream cheese and one cup of heavy cream. It'll make the soup really creamy. Oh, and it's going to be so yummy, guys. I love this. It's been a while since I cooked it because Ricky likes a traditional taco soup, and we argue every time I fix this. He's like, I want beans. <laughs> And I don't want beans. So I usually have to cook two pots because you guys know Ricky is low carb and he exercises his butt off every single day. So he's perfectly fine to have beans every once in a while. I just try not to introduce things to my life I know make me feel bad. And a big pot of taco soup lasts a long time. So for me to cook a taco soup, a traditional taco soup for Ricky, it usually gets wasted. And I hate wasting food. It makes me very irritated. I love the taco. The keto taco soup is just as delicious. It actually is more flavorful, flavorful to me because there's more flavor instead of all the cans of beans. So we want to taste it to see if we need more taco seasoning. Let me get me a spoon. And you can simmer this for as long as you want. You can actually simmer it and then add the cream cheese later. Ooh, ooh it's so good already. Oh, it's so good. Love it. I'm going to add some more taco seasoning because I want it to really have some good flavor. If you want to add salt and pepper, you can to this, but it's absolutely not necessary. I'm trying to get it hot again. I turned it off. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is add this cream cheese. Now, the cream cheese is going to take a few minutes to melt. It's okay because we're going to put the top on this and let it simmer. That cream cheese is going to take a little bit to melt because we didn't put it in the pan originally. We're going to put it into this hot juice. And it's going to continue to melt as the soup is simmering for us. Oh, man, this looks delicious. And the heavy cream, the one cup of heavy cream, again, all of this is going to simmer together. You can cook it fast. You can just throw all this together and let it simmer for sauce. Okay, guys, unfortunately, one of my nurses is calling. That means they need my help for the weekend. So I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to have to jump off. I will come back and look and see if you guys have questions. No, I did not drain the tomatoes. I just saw that question real quick. Um, I did not drain the tomatoes, so they're all good. So again, we've got a pound of ground beef. We cooked that with a bell pepper and a half of a white onion. We just cooked that, drained the grease, and then we put it back in, added our taco seasoning, a half a cup of low carb salsa, a whole 28 can of diced tomatoes, um, 24 ounces of beef broth. We're fixing to add in four ounces of softened cream cheese and a cup of heavy cream. Let it cover and simmer, guys. When you're finished, you can actually shred up uh, cheddar cheese to go over your soup, or you can add your cheese straight to the pot and let it go. When you warm it up, it's so easy. You just put it in a little bitty uh, saucepan, warm it up, and the cheese, it all is so delicious. Guys, I hope you enjoy. I got to go. Got to call my nurse. Talk to you later. Bye.